Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor where we're going to talk about a topic that all of you have had experience in every time that you go swimming. The first topic is the variation of pressure with depth, okay, and that's related to the fact that when you dive into a pool uh, and you go down, 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 down toward the bottom, you can feel the pressure kind of increase on your ears, and it kind of feels like you're being squeezed a little bit there on your ears, and that's because the pressure of the water on you is increasing as you go down toward the bottom. We're going to talk about that in some detail. And the second topic is the topic of the buoyant force. And that is, uh, everybody probably has figured out that when you jump into a pool, like if you have a friend in front of you there, and, and they may weigh 100 pounds outside of the pool, well inside the water, you can kind of move them around and lift them up a lot easier than you can if uh, you're not inside the pool. And that's because the water is kind of helping you out a little bit, it's giving you a, a, a push you know, from underneath called a buoyant force, okay? Uh, it's the same force that allows ships to float. It's the same force that allows you to have fun in the swimming pool. And we're going to talk about both of those. So first, let's tackle the uh, topic of the variation of pressure as you go down to the bottom of a swimming pool. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about first. Let's say you have a swimming pool. Okay, I'm just going to draw it like this. Okay, here's the top of the water. What we are going to claim, and, and one thing that you already know from experience, is that the pressure increases as you go uh, down in the pool. That's something that you know uh, from experience because that's what you're feeling on your ears as you go down low and low and low, okay? Now let's figure out uh, what's going on here. Let's say you're, you're down here at this distance and what we're going to do is we're going to reference everything from the top of the water so we're going to say we are a distance h below the surface of the water okay now the question is really when you really think about it is what is the pressure at this point okay what is the pressure at this point h meters below the surface there and we know that that's equal to force per unit area and we don't know what any of this means but we know that that's what pressure is equal to and but we want to we want to figure out how does the pressure change as we go down like this okay um, I'm gonna submit to you a few things that I'm gonna tell you without proof and then we're gonna talk about them and hopefully uh, things are gonna be clear what I'm basically gonna tell you is that the pressure okay as you go down is gonna be equal to the weight of the column of water above you. Now I'm just going to tell you that. Now you may not believe me, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you why that's the case here. If you're at this point here, underneath the swimming pool, just imagine that you're swimming here and you're looking up toward the water. All above you is a column of water, okay? all the way up to the surface, okay? So just kind of imagine for a second, you're at the bottom of a pool and you're looking up. There's a whole lot of water above you, okay? And that water has weight, okay? And you, you know from experience, water has a great deal of weight because a gallon of milk, mainly water, is pretty heavy, okay? And that's just one gallon of water, okay? Imagine you're at the bottom of a pool and you're looking up through eight feet of water. Well, through any given, you know, unit area, let's just say a square inch or something like this, if you took a column, or maybe of, of the surface area of my head here, and you just projected that column upward, there's a whole lot of water that's sitting right on top of you, and that water is pushing down on you. And that force of the weight of that water 